No, sir. I've uh, I've quit drinking. You've seen the error of your ways. No, I just can't afford it. <laughs> That's cute. I remember when I had my first beer. Yes, sweetheart, I have a rare condition which requires me to drink one of those every 15 minutes, please. Yeah, well, oh, give me a fucking drink. Move it, you little prick. I'm sorry, Bruce. These boys get that syrup in them. They get a little antsy and that pantsy. They just can't keep them under control. All right. Cheers, and welcome back to Reels, Booze, and Bros, a.k.a. RB2. I'm your host, Jay, and got my co-host, Brian, here. Real bro fan, Kev, gentlemen. We are back. Uh, good summer. Summer's come to a close. School has now started. How are we doing? Oh, f- quacktastic. Quack. <laughs> <laughs> little, a little hint in there, I see. But before that, I need your clothes, your boots, and your motorcycle. <laughs> on our previous podcast, we did Terminator 2 Judgment Day, which I just fucking finally got up onto the uh, the website right before we started this podcast. So it's on there. It's, it's already been out on all podcasts. Uh, let's see. Your listening platforms, uh, you would like. And I just put it on the website. That's there, realboozebros.com. So check it out. You have all the good stuff there. So And that's for it. So any uh, quick... Uh, Comments, Terminator 2, Judgment Day. What are you guys? Classic sci-fi. One of the best. Did we talk during the podcast about how a lot of the special effects didn't age all that well? <clears throat> I feel like we did mention yeah. it. We mentioned it a little bit. but It was uh, a while ago, so I can't remember if we did that. That's one of the things I was just I think, popped in my head. Yeah, I think one of the things is that I mentioned that I think all the special effects went to the T-1000. Yeah. And then everything yes. else is just kind of... Yeah. It was like revolutionary with the yeah. stuff you did with him, and then you yeah, walk. everything else was not good. You know. <laughs> yep. Well, at the time, but uh, holding up, yeah, you look Correct. at it yeah, as yeah. when Arnold's coming down the hallway, yeah. he's just you're um, shooting. At now him. we're just waiting for Skynet to actually take over. So <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it's okay. It's close. It's gonna happen. You know. Well, didn't they say it was like October, no, August twenty eighth or something like one o two a.m. Was it? Yeah, I forgot. Like the, yeah. I think it actually was. Like, I think there was like a, some meme I saw on Twitter or something that it was like August 28th of 2023, right? Or whatever it was. Uh, it was something. I don't think it was 2020. Or maybe it was, no, it was, yeah, ni- it was okay. It had to be 97 because it happens. Well, no, I think they were saying like the the battle that's going on in the future or whatever. Oh, uh, well, uh, okay. August, yeah. But Skynet becomes self-aware like August 28th at like 102 in the morning or some shit like that. Maybe. Yeah. Everybody go, fuck, trying to sleep, man. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I don't need to know what's going on, stuff like that. All right, so. That's uh, that's what we got for Terminator 2 Judgment Day. Listen to it. Check it out. Let us know your thoughts. Um, and for today's reel, for tonight, we are doing Billy Madison, a classic. Back to school. Yep. Since school's in session, go back to school. I know my kids started this past week. Some other kids here in the, the Northeast, while the other ones have been started about a couple of weeks ago in the South. Uh, I don't know. Well, just go on any social media and you could see everybody's kids' yep. uh, pictures. First day pictures. of yeah, whatever First grade. day of school. Yeah. And then the parents like, woo! Let's go get drink some wine. All the moms out there. <laughs> Thank God we didn't do that shit when we were younger. Just get on the bus. <laughs> yeah, 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 that's right. <laughs> get out of the fucking house. Yeah, get out. <laughs> fucking six thirty in the morning. <laughs> get up. Get up. <laughs> I'm not driving your ass to school if you miss the bus. Yeah. That's right. You're walking. <laughs> <laughs> Those promises came true. <laughs> All right. So before we get on to uh, Billy Madison, let's see what we got in the first show. <laughs> All right, Brian. Brian, you brought this uh, this lovely Icarus beer. Yeah. Classic. One of the favorites on the podcast, especially mine. So, Yeah. Icar- Icarus is one of, our, uh, one of our better local brews, as we always say. Um, try to stick to the theme tonight. And actually, I think I did pretty good. Yeah, you did. Uh, Woo! This I, one, I we, have, we have two beers from Icarus tonight. This Rerudo? Is the, <laughs> <laughs> the first one is called Spell Check. And it's funny because we literally just watched the spelling bee on... <laughs> Billy Madison. Uh, <coughs> this is an Imperial uh, IPA. It is 8.5%. Does not taste like that. And fuck, it went down pretty fucking smooth. I'm not going to lie. Oh, it's, it's going down smooth, but I think I can taste it's definitely strong. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Like at, at the tail end, got a nice little, like, okay. Yeah, I guess. I, I don't know. I mean, for me so far, it, it, I'm, I'm not getting that strong part yet, but you, know, you. you never know. Yeah. Um, but hey, I listen, Ooh. I'm, I'm Ooh. a fan. I say, other than that, um, Kev, your thoughts on the on the beer? Uh, it, it definitely tastes good. Uh, it's like the first thing I said when we were tasting is that it doesn't really taste like straight IPA to me. I don't think it has that like bitterness. No, to definitely it. not. It almost tastes like kind of like stoutish to me. It feels like very full flavored, basically. But I, you can, I feel like I can tell as I'm drinking it that it definitely tastes pretty strong. In my opinion. What the <laughs> fuck is Galaxy in, in, uh, in describing this? You see the side over here, heavily spelt Northeast Imperial India Pale Ale, copiously dry hopped with uh, Motuka. 
Luplin Mosaic Galaxy, Columbus, and Green Bastard from the Parts Unknown. I'm assuming it's a type of hop that's used, it would be my guess. It's right. They pulled it from space. Um, it okay, must have been right next be to... Awesome, so. Must have been right next to the Undertaker. Because <laughs> he's from parts unknown, too. That's true. I see. All right. Um, so oh, he's back from the dead. Oh, my God. I'm fucking <laughs> the Spanish announced staples. God. <laughs> yeah, Galaxy is a type of hop. So there you go. Galaxy. I d- that's so interesting. Go. I never knew that. So. <laughs> Who wh- 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 where are they located? Wh- wh- where can you find Galaxy this hops? I'm saying Australia. Australia. Wow. Okay. Ports unknown. This is what five seconds on Google is telling me. So if this isn't right, I apologize. Yeah. But uh, down under, I see. Uh, we're not we're not in full teaching mode yet, so I'm not checking any of these sources just yet. <laughs> That's all right, Professor. <laughs> I'll take your word for it. We don't back up shit over here. <laughs> <laughs> don't tell me my business, devil woman. <laughs> <laughs> all right, so let's move on to the, the the movie, the real for tonight. The back. So background on Billy Madison's a 1995 American comedy film. It was directed by uh, Tamara Davis. It stars Adam Sandler in the, t- in the title role. Bradley Whitford, Bridget Wilson, Norm MacDonald, uh, Darren McGavin, Mark Belsom, and Larry Hankin. Don't forget. Um, fuck. I just forgot his name. Uh, the fat guy. Chris Farley. Chris Farley. Thank you very much. <laughs> the dead fat guy. The film was written by Sandler and Tim uh, Hurley and produced by Robert Simmons. It was uh, McDonald's feature film debut. It made over $26.4 million worldwide and debuted at number one on the box office. Despite receiving mixed reviews from critics at the time of its release, the film is now considered one of Sandler's best and has garnered a cult following over the years. Um, best for for Sandler, it's there. It's one of the earlier ones. I, this is like true. This is I feel like this, this is in the run of the actual good movies. Like I know some of yes. the later movies here and there I, are pretty good, but yeah. this, uh, uh, Happy Gilmore, Waterboy, uh huh, those are the first three, right? Um, I miss, I'm missing one, aren't I? No, like um, back to back and stuff like that, and things like that. Like as far as like his specific movie, because I know he was in stuff like Airheads and other stuff. Yeah, Airheads. Yeah, I stuff, think Airheads. So. Airheads like it's like where he like. But I mean, this is like an classic, actual. Yeah, yeah. But this is like an actual Adam Sandler's. Yeah, no, no, no. Movie. This is his first one. Then it goes Happy Gilmore. Then I believe it's The Wedding Singer. Oh uh, yeah, yeah, you're right. Okay. And The Wedding Singer, I think. Well, they both came out the same year, '98. Uh, Wedding Singer, Wedding Singer and, and Waterboy. Waterboy. Yeah. Well, I did, Wedding Singer came out first because that came out for like Valentine. Day, and uh-huh. I think uh, Gilmore came out in like November. Not uh, uh, Waterboy. Waterboy. Uh, anyway, <laughs> uh, yes, so. but no, I, I, it's. I mean, I mean, those are the best ones. I, like I said, there's other stuff that comes later, but this is in the run of like his big movies. So yeah, well then I, I don't know if it's his best. I mean, they're all they're all. If I had to pick one, I still think Happy Gilmore is probably my favorite. But uh, I, I like Happy Gilmore better than Happy and then than Bill, yeah. Bill Yeah, so yeah. do I. But I mean, this one. This one's got a few moments in it. Um, I mean, it do, it does got moments in it. Don't get me wrong. It, it's I'm not going to say it's a terrible, terrible movie or anything like that. Let's <laughs> not get that. Um, but for me, I, I think me personally, I think everything that I love from his movies, the first, I think the, the number one movie for him is um, The Wedding Singer. Yeah. I fucking love that movie. Yes. Fucking fantastic. <laughs> and then the other one that a lot of people love and... Um, little Nicky? Not Little Nicky. No. Uh, that's one of his uh, worst uh, ones. Big Daddy. Big Daddy. Big Daddy. Big Daddy was good. That's Sorry. the other one. Um, okay, here we go. So it was Billy Madison, Happy Gilmore, Bulletproof. Oh, that's Remember a classic. That yeah. With, with Damon, with Damon Wayans. Wayans. And he's like the... The, like, the, the bad guy and then comes just, like the CIA stuff like that. Just think of it. He's a piece of me. You're a piece of me. <laughs> yeah. Can He's you, the he, cream filling. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah well, my friend wants to go to Disneyland. Tell me when to go. Disneyland. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> then came the wedding singer. Yeah. He, uh, then the water boy. Then Big Daddy. Um, he was in Deuce Bigelow for a little bit. Little Nicky was in there. God, that was horrible. Um, then all the other ones he's in was Punch Drunk Love. Then Mr. Deeds. Eight Crazy Nights. Um, the hot chick, uh, just, he's just there. Mm-hmm. Um, anger management. That, that I actually like that one more. Yeah. The, the more you watch, it's good. I think I haven't seen that probably since I saw it in the movie theater. Anger management. Really? Yeah, that's the Jack Nicholson one. Yeah, yeah. that's him. Okay. Yeah, that's where. Yeah. Oh, I got ghosts in my pants. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, the Fifty First Dates, Spanglish, uh, The Longest Yard, which is one of my favorites from him. Yeah. Like I, I love mean, it's it's a remake, but it's, it, a, it, it's, yeah. it's fantastic. Yeah, it's, I I think it, honestly, I think it's better than the original. Yeah. Like uh, I think this that's like a perfect R comedy. Well, that's the thing. Like he got away from R comedies, and uh, he. Well, this one's PG thirteen. Yeah. I, like I, it, but now, there's probably be a rated R comedy. Uh, well, they would also try to get away with more in this. Also, probably like yeah. if it came out after old school, there'd be more. 
there'd be more like probably like a uh, random nudity and yeah. a lot more cursing probably. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. hands down, they wouldn't be on that. Um, let's see, Click was after that. Rain. Oh, Click, Click was, was okay. Rain yeah. over me. Um, Rain over me was good, but that's absolutely not a comedy. <laughs> yeah, uh, you don't mess with Zohan. Uh, I like that movie. I didn't like uh, that one. It was, it was all right. Funny people, <laughs> gr- grown ups. Let's see. Just go with it. Zookeeper, Jack and Jill. Oh, horrible. That's my boy. Uh, oh, I that see that's another rated R one, and that's fucking good. I did, that's I my boy with Andy Samberg. I haven't seen any. Yes, yeah. that that one's good. I all like right. that one a lot. <laughs> I would say that. And then you know what he's really known for, and the fact is Hotel Transylvania. This is where he made all his money. Yeah, he need those three. He just movies. those three movies. They're fucking inside. They're actually really good. He plays Dracula. <laughs> yeah, I, I, but he also. I don't I, say blah blah blah. Yeah, he's also <laughs> like got he's also got his own fucking production company he's been producing all his movies that's true yeah he does all this so stuff. He's, yeah, he's, he's fucking, worth like 500 million dollars and he yeah. dresses like a bum yeah it's fantastic yeah it's great yeah um all right so moving on um so thoughts on, on billy madison oh, well before we go to that uh, let's see rotten tomatoes gave us a 40 percent a tomato meter 79 percent audience score IMDb 6.3 out of 10. Metacritic, let's see, 16 out of 100 for Metascore. <laughs> User score 5.0 out of 10. So Wow. Yeah, well, m- m- the, Users, I, huh? Yeah, that's, that's Metacritic. I like to throw that sh- shit in there just for the hell of it because they're always so fucking random. I think there's only like three movies where they were actually on point with the other ones. Um, as you can see by Rotten Tomatoes, 40% and 79. Like This is definitely a cult classic. It's a, you know... The, the the audience loves it. The the critics are just like, oh, that was stupid. It's like because you don't fucking understand what's funny. Well, I, right. you yeah. can't trust well, those not only, anymore. Not did only you, that, but did you like, see the news story that broke about how Rotten Tomatoes pays people that base or accepts donations for people to write good reviews for movies or to write bad ones based on what they're told to do. <laughs> Yeah, uh, it, was no, a, it was a story no. that literally broke like three or four days ago. Oh, uh, of course. I'm not so fucking surprised. <laughs> like, um, everything. It's all about money and yep. stuff like that. There was another, I gotta find out again, another like user based, um, uh, like one review. of these things, review sites that's there. I can't. I, my, somebody told me from it. I went to I went to I went to PhillyCon. <clears throat> yeah, my nerdness. Where I got uh, John Carlo Esposito, Moff Gideon. Uh, he also played um, the bad guy. I've got his name in there. And uh, and well, he's from, the from, guy from, from Breaking uh, Bad. The, well, he's the guy from the boys also. Yeah, the head of Vaughn. Oh, yeah, head of Vaughn. I can't think of his John Carlo something. J- John Carlo Esposito. Esposito. Okay. Yeah, but his signature is on my wall over there. Oh, nice. Hey, did you ever see it? Yeah. <laughs> no, no, I actually have to go take a look. So, uh, yeah, I met him. Got pictures of him with him. Um, and the guy, anyway, so the guy I got a picture with told me about a website. I forgot to write it down. There's like a, a new one. It gives like really good reviews, stuff like that. It's mm. more, it's more user based, and, and you know, some good critics that's on there too. So, anyway, let's go with our thoughts on Billy Madison. Brian? Uh, all right. So basically, I'm going to put this in my top five Adam Sandler movies. Um, oh, it has to. This is this is probably like a solid eight and a half for me. Um, I feel like this is more like when you say cult classic, it's probably because of like us growing up watching it. Like we grew up with this movie. So like it, it ages well with us. So like we remember, you know, like 95, 96, I was in like eighth grade. So, like, I, I know, you know, remember watching this on, you know, in, I don't think in the theater, but at least uh, uh, yeah. at home. And hey, stuff we saw like it at that. home yeah. on uh, um, VHS yeah, yeah, yeah. somehow for some reason. I don't know yeah. how we got on VHS, but yet. Yeah, we probably had a blockbuster and, you know, whatever. Yeah. Easy video. <laughs> <laughs> um, but, yeah, but we would also watch, like, Saturday Night Live, on, and he was on there. He was one of the stars at the time. So, you know, him, Farley, yeah. all those guys. So, like, we grew up watching those guys, and this was their time. Um, so, you know, just some of the stuff that happens in there is the fucking stupid, uh, checking for lice. <laughs> yeah. It's like rain. Um, but yeah, no, this, this movie, I mean, it has, it, it's it definitely has its moments in there. Um, I, I do love the fact that Chris Farley's in there. Uh, <laughs> Meet Norm MacDonald. Yeah. yeah Norm, Norm, MacDonald. Norm MacDonald is actually, you know, is it was a solid choice in there. Hey, where's Billy go? Yeah. <laughs> Billy, I just thought of the greatest. Hey, where's Billy? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, yeah, all right, Billy's a fall down drunk in the beginning of the movie. Like, what the fuck are these guys doing? That they're just, all right, Billy, we're going to do it with you. <laughs> Can't drink alone. Yeah. Yeah. Sure, yeah. why not? They, he called the shit. <laughs> shit and poo. Yeah. Um, no. You know, so, I mean, it, it's got its it's got its got classic moments in there, um, you know. But um, 
It ain't going to win an Academy Award, I'll give you that. But, you know, it's funny to see, like, how much Sandler has somewhat transformed as an actor because he can still pull off a serious role. But then at the same time, he goes back to, like, some of the same, like, the same stuff that that's made him famous to the beginning. So you're just like, oh, all right, you know, has he really grown up? You know, whatever. <laughs> give them what they want. Though. Yeah. Yes, like that, that's his thing. Uh, I know for me that I... Um, I kind of got annoyed rewatching this with his voice and knowing how he acts. I'm like thinking that's just like a little too much over the top with that shit. Going on the, yeah. uh, like, please, please, Billy, no gibberish at the dinner table tonight. No. Like, <laughs> like, I, like I get it. I'm like, God, that's so freaking annoying. So yeah, I kind of felt the same way. Like the the first scene with the whole the the penguin walking around is just like his voice is very grating the whole time. That's yeah, very annoying. Like, right, but I, look look at it this time. When we were first watching it, we were 12 and 13 years old. Yes. Now at forty, it's a different story. Yeah. <laughs> I, 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 agree. Like, I, I did enjoy, you know? yeah, like I, well, I did enjoy the penguins going around because I thought that's I, no. I, I like that scene. <laughs> I'm like, man, I wish I was that messed up to go chase it for some imaginary ass penguins. So that's just me, Kev. Your thoughts? Uh, yeah. So this, I mean, it's weird because watching this movie again, like it's still funny, but it's definitely like fucking stupid the whole time you're watching it. Also, oh yeah, just you thinking like, God, this is so <laughs> stupid that's going on. Like, there's times you're watching. Hello, like, Ruby. Welcome. My, my dog has made its appearance into the, into the <laughs> podcast. So you're you're watching the movie and you're just like, wow, this is really fucking stupid. But every now and then it's fucking hilarious too. Yeah. And it's it's gonna be interesting when we're going over it because I mean, there's probably a lot of scenes because it jumps around a lot from one thing to the next. Yeah, they're, they're very quick. Hard. Yeah, it's kind of hard to keep track of what's going on, but. Uh, I guess when we're little kids, or at least littler kids watching this, uh, I guess our attention spans are just fall over the place anyway, so it works perfectly for it. But no, even though it's really stupid, it's still funny. It held up. I was still laughing when I was watching it. Like, I used to watch this movie all the time. It was, it was one of the movies that at the, the Stockton channel that I told you about when yeah. I lived down there. It was one of those movies that also was on rotation all the time also. <laughs> so. so we used to be able to go through the whole lines for just, the whole thing. Um, I keep telling I'm going yeah. to get my dog out of here. It's like, Come on. <laughs> we got to go. But... um. Yeah, so even though it's it's incredibly stupid, it's still funny. Live, it holds up. What I was saying was rewatching it. I forgot a lot of the stuff that's in here, and it's just fucking hilarious. Like we just saw a scene before when I was watching it yesterday. The the one other friend who's not Norm McDonald, the other guy who I have no idea what his name is. Was it Frank? No, no Frank is Norm no, McDonald. No, Carl. Frank is, is, Carl? is Norm McDonald. Give me a second. I'll look it up. Maybe. No, 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 no. Jack. Jack. Okay. Carl's Carl's the. Uh... Like number two, but or there's three like a random game. scene where he's like at one of the graduation parties. He's, <laughs> he's just holding the hose and just spraying yeah. a kid with it. Yeah, he's like, what and he's like, what are you doing? I don't know you. And then Adam Sandler just goes, Who goes, are you? But Adam Sandler goes up and goes, Are you okay? And he's like, Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he just keeps doing it. I, was, I, I don't know. I was just fucking dying. Yeah. I saw that yesterday. So and she came too. <laughs> <laughs> the mucus queen is yours. Yes. Oh, I, yeah. I remember that part, but <laughs> <laughs> but no, it's like I said, it's. It's definitely, I think, not aged well as far as comedies go, just because of how like weird and stupid it is at times. I feel like comedies are better because they're more off the wall now. Uh, I guess more gross out than anything else now. But th I mean, this is still good. Like I said, it's probably like a mid eight, like Brian said. Also, it could be. I, I don't want to say it could be better because obviously we're not going to go back and remake the movie or anything. Mm, but no, I, would, I, make, I, would, I would have to agree. It's a, it's a good solid comedy, but I feel like it's definitely like an early '90s stupid comedy at the same yes, time. This, also, like, this defines the '90s. I said this is the. I believe this is the one that launched Adam Sandler's career, got him in that stupid thing, and this is like pretty much of the. This is a true '90s comedy when you think about it. A little outside the box. I like the concept. It was an interesting idea. R a complete rich boy goes back to school in order to get his father's company. It's like, get the fuck out of here. <laughs> Privilege doesn't know anything that's going on. It's a complete fuck up his entire life. Uh, it, it's just an uh, interesting concept. Uh, like, so, um, I, I give this a, um, I don't know what that noise was, a 9.3 on uh, my scale. <laughs> <laughs> That's for that. All right. I mean, so, it's a little low for you. Usually, you're like eleven point two or so. So I know that's why. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's a, a little, a little low. That's why. I, oh my god, uh, Instagram popping up over here. That's why I, I didn't like um, his, his, his voice. It's like the, it's just a little too much in the beginning stuff that's going on. All right, <laughs> let's move on. Let's let's go to our favorite scenes. What, what we got going on here? I felt this is pretty tough to find scenes in this movie. There's maybe small little things because there's like, a lot of scenes. Yeah, there's a lot of quick, yeah. little just snippets sort of deal. <clears throat> so, uh, Kevin, why don't you go with this? What, what, what did you get? You think that's uh, from here? All right. So, because there's so many, I didn't want to have a list of a whole bunch of them. So I just went with basically the biggest ones. 
So I went, uh, the first scene I have is when he's initially told that he's not going to be inheriting the company, just because for whatever reason, when he's sitting there being a dumbass that whole time, it's hilarious to me. <laughs> One of my favorite gags is when he just says, actually, I stole the shirt from Frank. And they move on, but then all of a sudden you see he just lifts the shirt up and it says Frank's name on it. <laughs> Wait, that was in the chair, right? Yeah, when he's sitting in the chair, yeah. <laughs> then they're doing the whole thing. He's like, you know, <coughs> second grade spelling bee, rock, R-O-K. Yeah, yeah, what's your point? <laughs> what's your point? Is, oh, the C is silent. silent. <laughs> but so that, I mean. Spelt check. So I had that also because it basically sets up the whole premise of the movie also. Uh, from there, I do have uh, basically everything that happens in first grade. So that's meeting the, the first grade teacher. Uh, the uh, the the fucking first kid that the queen is the uh, the uh, the mom of just sitting there just walking around doing the fucking armpit farts for whatever reason. Yeah. Oh, Billy likes his farts, doesn't? Not Billy, whatever his name is. <laughs> oh, yeah, <laughs> likes his beans, huh? Mm -hmm. But then you know, there's the uh, the dodgeball outside, uh, going in and seeing she's a fucking weirdo, and then they do the one scene Miss where Lippy. they're all doing something and she's just dripping the glue on yep. her face. <laughs> yes. <laughs> So I think it just sets up how weird and stupid the movie's going to be, and it sets up the whole premise of what he's going to have to do as he goes from grade to grade also. Uh, I'll put the first graduation party in there just for the clown fucking falling on the stilts. <laughs> <and graduation. laughs> Dumbass. I mean, they clown. keep doing it over and over again, but the only other one I want to shout out is just the second one where Eric says like he's going to have one of these stupid parties every time he graduates. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, uh, I love the parties. Yeah, the parties are great. Yeah, I, I, mean, have, we just, I we, have that in there. I just I just lumped them all together. Yeah, I mean, because yeah. we also just had the one before when he actually is right before high school where he brings uh, the teach, uh, Veronica into the uh, the tent also. It's like, oh, that, that came with the tent. <laughs> 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 so there's that. Uh, the next scene I have is the uh, the field trip and the bus ride with the, uh, the field trip also, just to get Chris Farley in there as well. Yep. Uh, so that's the whole, uh, you ain't cool unless you pee your pants. <laughs> I'll turn this <laughs> bus around. That's assault, brother. <laughs> you double dare me? <laughs> I, I, I have the quote later on, but the whole me, him and her got it on. No, they didn't. No, no, they didn't. Oh, you yeah. Can, the... But you can imagine if they did, right? Eh? Uh -huh. eh? Uh -huh. Hey, everybody back on the bus. Great grand. Anyway, <laughs> so I have that. Uh, there was a scene that just happened also for what I don't find a lot of the other like grade school or other like school introductions because I mean the main ones are like the yeah. first one and then the, the Veronica Vaughn one but also do you have this one have, I, I do I, I do have the this. movie in the background so explain that I love this one I fucking went my fucking so, it's so random and out of there as he apologized so explain this scene to us Kevin that we have on the, on the background. well the one we have in the background is the uh, the Steve Buscemi <laughs> and the whole premise of this is that Veronica tells him, like, you know, you're you're the loser in high school now. There's probably a lot of kids that you made fun of when you were growing up that you should probably, you know, reach out to. So he's reaching out to Steve Buscemi, who uh, I don't know what's playing in the background. Uh, if, if the volume was on, I might be able to pick it up. We can do it later. But uh, the whole premise is that Steve Buscemi turns out to be a whack job, and he has his list of people to kill. Yeah, <laughs> which <laughs> and is he like, crosses it, his name out, it and, and it comes back nowhere. at the end of the movie. Yeah, and then he's and then the fact <laughs> I'm that he's glad like, I called that guy. And, and, and he, he puts a lipstick. He puts on the lipstick. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it was you're like, oh, it was like. It's not like there's not the crying game thing that's playing in the background. Is <laughs> I, it? I can't remember what it. Cried. Like I said, I don't remember what it's playing. We have the, the movie muted right now, so. <laughs> Uh, he was I don't, pretty I don't, high know, what, I don't know what Bob Simmons did, but he's screwed, man. <laughs> he's number one on the <laughs> he's list. Number one. <laughs> Billy was number four. So yeah, Billy was, was number four. And what the fuck did Bob Simmons do? <laughs> now that's a good question to think about. Like he puts, he puts just puts just, he just, and he lays down. He's just like, oh my god, that's is, uh, is this <laughs> that's what so makes the scene. The lipstick, <laughs> like he's wait is. Buscemi's one of the guys in Airheads too, isn't he? Yes, yep, he's, yeah. he's boys Frazier? with Sandler. Yeah, yeah, okay. yeah, yeah. He was. The, he's uh, in a lot of it, Sandler. It movies. was uh, Brendan Fraser. Yeah, Brendan one. Fraser, yeah. Buscemi, and Sandler were the Pit, put the monster away. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I see. Anyway, so after that, so like I said, the only other school scene that I had was just the the high school scene, just for the the chlorophyll joke. Fantastic. Yes, <laughs> chlorophyll, <laughs> more like borophyll. Yeah. All right, Brian, what <laughs> you got going on? Well, no, just the the last one is just the the decathlon at the end. Okay. Uh, academic decathlon, or yeah, whatever it was. yeah. All right, so I pretty much got everything you said there. Yeah, I said there's a, there's a lot more in there. Yeah, um, I did, you did a field trip. I did. Uh, I like the beginning, nudie magazine day, um, <laughs> when you just said your introduction to Billy. Um, you know, he's just out there getting he getting <laughs> fucking wasted all day long. What day is today? October. <laughs> yeah, October. October. And then you, you find his what uh, a life. You find his arch nemesis, the fucking penguin, <laughs> like right there. He's like, and the best is the one guy, just the groundskeeper. No, Mr. Madison, no penguin. There's no penguin here. No peng you get too much sun. <laughs> they always say uh, too much sun instead of him getting shit faced. Like yeah. it's just, like, 
No, you never yeah. more than it helps. They gotta be nice. That's gonna, yeah, it's gotta be nice that he's got his own fucking like little not a golf cart, but I don't even like I get it is a golf cart, but yeah. you know, it's it's just fucking driving that fucking thing around. Hell, yeah. <laughs> that, thing, that thing's nice. Yeah. <coughs> um so there's that. Uh we did first the uh, first first day of school, and then you get the back to school song, so that's perfect. <laughs> um I do like when he comes up with the like after he finds out he's not going to get the company, but then he makes a suggestion of what to do to get it. Um, becomes pretty cool. And then he's got that, the the song and dance is like perfect, you know, like just for, it's like, dun, 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 dun. You know, it's just so, it and, just goes and, so and they perfect. And bring the clown back. Yeah. <laughs> That's true. Bet you thought I was dead. Yeah. <laughs> Um, Smack in the fucking head. <laughs> yeah, what? Uh, I was trying to think. Oh, I had the the other one. I had the the studying scene with. Uh, uh, well, it, <laughs> it, it, they call him the bus driver. That's it. Well, yeah. No, first it starts off with Miss Vaughn. Yeah. Yes. And then he, he keeps goes. getting it wrong, and then all of a sudden she leaves, and he's like, "Put your clothes." <laughs> yeah, that is correct. Yeah. Seventeen <laughs> seventy. I don't know what it was. But <laughs> Is correct. I've <laughs> used that so many fucking times. And then, okay, and then that. when it's fucking Chris Farley, he's just so <laughs> he's <laughs> he's wasting there. <laughs> that that makes it so perfect. <laughs> and you could tell Sandler just wants to fucking die laughing. Um, and then uh, the other the other one, he's like, he called the shit poop. You know, <laughs> yeah. Like, <laughs> I, yeah, I have that one. Uh-huh. While lighting the poop on fire. In a yeah, yeah, yeah. But yeah. I got my these new boots for lighting them, for stopping <laughs> yeah. the fire. Don't put it out with your boots. <laughs> Don't tell me my business, devil woman. <laughs> so fucking ah, poop again. <laughs> <laughs> Thank God. Uh, oh, I see what it is. I the penguin what... is here. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what else you got there going on? Uh, and that, that's a. Uh, that's pretty much it, because then, like we said, there's just, like, random, like, little scenes in there, like, um, <laughs> the one, I don't know, yeah. I like, yeah, this is, like, a small one I have, I like, good one here. We, he goes to Veronica, says that's going to waste, and the penguins in there, like, yeah. he's, like, cheating on her with the penguin. Yeah. <laughs> it's, like, so fucking stupid. But, oh, I see what's going on here. So it, sorry to interrupt. But <laughs> the, for, what, <laughs> the one <laughs> stupid scene that I like is, like, um... Who's it? The guy Eric trying to get the company, and then he's talking to the fucking uh, janitor. Uh, Billy likes milk. <laughs> <laughs> Miss Lippy's car is it's green. green. Yeah. <laughs> he's just like, what? What the fuck? <laughs> yeah, he, What's going on, Cybirds? You want some of this milk? <laughs> <laughs> rather have a beer. <laughs> yeah. <I'd rather> have- <laughs> yeah. Uh, um, I but yeah, it's just you know like stupid shit like that. Like it's just like little scenes. So. Um, and yeah, that's that's what I got for right now. I, I, I th- pretty much everything, and I'll throw one in there at the end. Um, at the end of the movie, when uh, the bus driver Chris Farley, after a happy ending, that's that's going on, where he, he's with the penguin. Uh-huh. <laughs> <laughs> I, I forgot about it. everyone's like, oh, happy kissing and stuff like that. Makes you know it's fucking <laughs> Chris Farley with the penguin. I'm like, what the fuck is going oh, on? I'm here? sure he decided to make that on. Uh, yeah, yeah. So, all right, that's what I got. All right, moving on. Let's go on to favorite quotes. Um, Let's See, this was another one that it was just like too much too to long. do. Yeah, like I feel like all the quotes were like way too long because it's like they play off each other. So it was just like, all right, I'm quoting like the whole scene. Um, yeah, but you know, there's just like the random ones. You called the shit poop. You yeah. know, thank you, Miss Lippy. Yeah. <laughs> um, you ain't cool. Yes, shampoo you ain't cool is better. Yeah, you pee your pants and stuff like shampoo that. Shampoo is better. Cause I, I go on first and clean. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah, yeah, like stuff like that, like you know. But otherwise, it's just like you're not long stuff. But I know Kev's gonna have the principal one because God. I, oh yeah, I, I got it. I got it ready to go. Yeah, <laughs> I, you, you've used that a couple times. It's a- <laughs> uh, uh, before you said that, I was gonna say this one with Frank. Hey. Would you rather bone Meg Ryan oh, yeah, or Jack one. Nicholson? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I fucking was like, what the fuck? How did I remember Jack Nicholson this? now or 1974? Yeah. <laughs> 1974, Meg Ryan. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, was like, I'm like, what the fuck? How did this pop up? That was one that I also forgot what was going <laughs> yeah. on. So I I did, randomly I could, in there. Yeah, at a left field. I enjoyed one. All right, all right, Kev, I want you to send us the... Uh, I mean, I have a lot of different quotes, but we, so we'll, we'll, we'll work our way up to that. So Yeah. But I, I do like uh, Daddy's in prison, and he won't be home for a long time. <laughs> <laughs> uh, 
uh, I thought I was your snack pack. <laughs> yeah, I love, I love when he that. when he wins this. One of my favorite ones, just like stupid, is like well, when he wins the smell, spelling bee. I am the smartest man alive. <laughs> Uh, let's see if, if peeing your pants is cool. Consider me Miles Davis. Yep. Uh, one of the ones that I get the most use out of probably is t t t today, Junior. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> that's that's up there. Uh, we already have. It's just too damn hot for a penguin to just be walking around. <laughs> I got to send him back to the South Pole. <laughs> Don't tell me my business, devil woman. Oh, <laughs> uh, so here's the quote. That Veronica Vaughn is one piece of ace, if you know what I'm... I know from experience, if you know what I mean. No, you don't. <laughs> well, not me personally, but a guy I know, him and her, got it on. <laughs> woo <laughs> No, they didn't. No, no, they didn't. <laughs> you can imagine. You imagine what it was like, right? Right? <laughs> <laughs> Who ate that? Then he, then he holds him back so he can look under her skirt. Yeah. Oh. Oh. There you go. Uh, <clears throat> Mortal Kombat I sent it on Sega Genesis, the best video game ever. I disagree. It's a very good game, but Donkey Kong is the best video game Donkey ever. Kong sucks. You know something? You suck. <laughs> <laughs> oh, here you go. Here's the clown singing again. <laughs> yeah, and got a hemorrhage. <laughs> uh, I swear to God, I'm sick. I can't go to school. If you're going to stay home today, you have to help me shave my armpits. Oh. So, there you go. <laughs> it was early on. I thought I was your snack pack. I think I said that already. Yeah. Uh, uh and then before the uh, the speech is also if there is any attempt for either candidate to either contestant to cheat, especially with my wife who is a dirty, dirty tramp, <laughs> I am just going to snap. I made myself clear. <laughs> I love that one. All right. So uh, the other quote is, "Mr. Madison, what you've just said is one of the most insanely idiotic things I have ever heard. At no point in your rambling, incoherent response were you even close to anything that could be considered a rational thought. Everyone in this room is now dumber for having listened to it." I award you no points, and may God have mercy on your soul. <laughs> <laughs> okay, a simple wrong would have done just fine. Uh, that's what I think, so. <laughs> All right, Etsy, Brian, anything you want to throw in there? It's good. pretty much the same, like... Yeah, uh, no, I can't really add anything else. I gave you a few that I had. It was just... Yep, I got you. Some of them that they're in there is like the lunch lady. Have some yeah. more sloppy joes. I, I made them extra sloppy for you. I know you kids like them sloppy. <laughs> lady, you're scaring yeah. us. <laughs> <laughs> uh, <clears throat> I, I, I keep going back to the fucking Meg Ryan one. Like, who would you rather bone Meg Ryan or check this? Uh, that's uh, that's a, such a random one. I would love to have in there. So. All right. <laughs> On that note, we'll take. Uh, I thought I was your snack back. <laughs> we'll, we'll take a quick break and we'll be, we'll be right back. All right. Whoa, 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 Miss Lippy. The part of the story I don't like is that the little boy gave up looking for a, for a happy after an hour. He didn't put out posters or up or anything. He just sat on the porch like a goon and waited. That little boy's got to think. You got a pet. You got a responsibility. If your dog gets lost, you don't look for an hour, then call it quits. You get your ass out there, and you find that fucking dog. All right, and we're back. Really time for dodgeball. Gross. <laughs> <laughs> and time for dodgeball, a.k.a. RB2. <clears throat> All right. <laughs> so let's finish up the rest of this podcast that we got going on here. Uh, let me get to my notes. Uh, where are we at there? All right, so movie awards, best quote. I'm going to throw this out there. The Chris Farley one. That is correct. <laughs> <laughs> I, I use that one. Whenever I think of Billy Madison, I'll th I, that's a, the quote I use the most. Obviously, it's yeah. the scene where he takes his shirt off. He's like, that is correct. <laughs> I like that. I like, thank you, Miss Lippy. That's uh, a good one as well. Um, Kev, what, what do you think you got anything for us? I mean, the the quote I get the most use out of is definitely t t t t t today, today, Junior. Yeah, that's a, that, again, that's another good one. So. But if, if I'm going, the, the best overall quote is still the principal's speech. There, oh, the principal's when he gives speech. the the, uh, the, uh, the response to the question. Uh, <laughs> you, you you get the idea of what's going on, but other like I need something quick. Like Billy Billy, yeah, Madi yeah. Billy Madison, like out of those three, that's going. On, I think so. That's what I got, Brian. That's that's what you're going with with yours. Or you want to? Yeah, thank you, Miss Lippy. Yeah, thank you, Miss. <laughs> thank you very much, Miss Lippy. <laughs> <laughs> All right. What did she say that he forgot? I don't remember. Wasn't the blue duck? What, no, what, no, what? no. Here's your uh, like painting and stuff like yeah. that. Like, oh, was that when they made the snowman? Oh, right, because he's telling the mucus. We said, oh, I'm here to pick up my kid. Or he's like, I ride the school bus. <laughs> oh, uh, that's, that's right. A, yeah, yeah. <laughs> for the Billy, for the city. Here you go, Billy. You forgot your stuff. <laughs> yeah. Thank you very much, Miss Lippy. Yeah, I got you. All right. So best scene. What do you guys got, Kev? What do you want to throw on there for your best scene? 
Uh, for best scene, I have the, the entire academic decathlon, decathlon? From, from start to finish. Okay. Like, even though I know, I think we talked about the, the response to the question, everything, everything else that's in there is good. Like, I always love the part where Eric's playing the violin and he just takes one fucking blow on the bassoon. <laughs> He's good. Yeah. yeah, you would think he would, like, play a guitar, <coughs> yeah, a guitar, but instead he fucking plays the goddamn uh, yeah. the flute. Oboe or, I don't know what it was. Uh, it's, it's Some I'm, sort of woodwind. Yeah, <laughs> I see. All right, Brian, what do you think? Um, I don't know. Like, I, I like the decathlon, but I guess... It's either it's two of them for me. Like, no matter what, one of the first things that always pops in my mind when I think of Billy Madison is fucking dodgeball. Yeah, dodge. Like, because <laughs> you, I know why. Just well, murdering well, kids. You know, we never said that. That's, <laughs> that's another what, quote. Now you're all in big, big trouble. Yeah, yeah. that's yeah. the reason why. Because you hate every kid in movies. So no, just like, that's I'm not true. Fuck them up with the fucking dodgeball. That's not true. I don't think you like any child actor <laughs> in any, any movie. Um, and the other one is, <laughs> the other one is the the field trip. The field trip where they go on there, yeah, and, like, and I like it from start to finish. Yeah. And I like you double dare me. <laughs> <laughs> That's assault, brother. <laughs> so yeah, those are probably the only <laughs> two that would say like full scenes. There we go. Get on the penguin. I would have to say for me, I like just him apologizing to uh, Dan- Danny Ma- <laughs> Danny McGrath, the um, the psycho, the psycho dude. He's definitely the penguin's definitely jerking him. Oh up. yeah, without a doubt. <laughs> with his with his flipper. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that's why he's just like <laughs> that's probably that's probably the best scene <laughs> it's fucking so random so stupid that's going on there um yeah i, I like him apologizing to steve buscemi steve, steve buscemi's character danny mcgrath because it's just like it seems kind of serious and it's like oh okay and then just fucking <laughs> crosses out the hit list and puts on fucking lipstick like, yeah you're like what <laughs> the fuck i can get the, the hit list <laughs> all right yeah that's what, and then, but the, the lipstick at the end that's what makes that whole scene he's just like and the guy the guy danny mcgrath is so baffled he's like wow I never thought that would fucking happen. And he forgives him so quick. All he wants is apology, which is, yeah. I get it. Because I was wrong. So, <laughs> fucking so, it's so weird. And, and I like random. when he, he, like, Andrews, he's like, oh, yeah, I remember you. Yeah. 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 <laughs> yeah. Like, real quick, nothing, <laughs> nothing like, um, yeah, you might, you remember I've been waiting later. for this fucking yeah. day. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Tell me who you are now. <laughs> yeah. Just like, yeah. yeah. I think I remember who you are. <laughs> <laughs> Trying to play it cool. I get it. So that's, that's, what, that's what we got. Um, I guess we can go with any other one that's going on there. All right, best character, Randy Watson Award. Tough one. Tough one. I had two. I've, uh, I've, I have two, but I'm, I'm, I like my number one answer. Uh, I wanted to go with Frank. I thought that was too easy, though. That's the other one. It was one too easy. Two, then yeah. my next one was uh, fucking Juanita. Oh, God damn it. Look what I <laughs> best character, Juanita, you son of a bitch. <laughs> I do. Wait, 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 why are you mad? Because we're agreeing. That's fucking You're still good. my thunder. You're supposed to say something else. <laughs> I had, well, then I, I also was, I had her. Um, it has to be one either. <laughs> right. No, Chris you, Farley. Chris Farley. You want me to take my shirt off? Well, that's what she says earlier on, too, before <laughs> Chris Farley. She's like, you want me to take my shirt off? <laughs> <laughs> we just walk up the stairs. God damn, that's my fine ass. <laughs> Chris Farley. <laughs> and then the penguin. Uh, it, uh, I did just, like the penguin. I like the fact that he's fucking the two things. He's holding a drink while he's at, at Veronica's house, and then he's jerking off. Fucking, what's this fucking, Chris, the bus driver. Penguin, penguin's all over the place. Penguin's yeah. having a great life, man. Yeah. And he's getting so, fucked up and yeah. doing Liv- some shit. Liv- <laughs> L-I-V-I-N. Yeah. Liv- he's like, a, he's like, like the bear from... Um, oh, from uh, Super Troopers? No. Um, <laughs> hot Tub Time Machine. Oh, my God. <laughs> yeah. The bear makes like... the He probably... Out of all the uh, managers. So did you animals. mean the blow-up bear in Super Troopers? Yeah. <laughs> That's what I thought. That's the only bear I thought about. He said hot tub time machine. And then the bear's in the in the hot tub like twice. Yeah. I think. And he's like giving a Craig Robinson a like, he's yeah. like giving him like a blowjob. He's like Craig Robinson, like, oh shit. Yeah, the, the bear is there. The bear, it shows up twice and gets stuff like that. So the penguin obviously was a better at having more fun than the uh than, yeah. than, than the bear in in the movie. So I don't know. I, it has to be, I think it's Juanita. That's, that's yeah, I'm, not, I'm not upset yeah. about that choice. I had to go, yeah. Someone who's not in the movie a lot. I think she's only in the movie like four times maybe, probably. Maybe five. Because yeah. she has also one that's making out with Steve Buscemi at the end also when they're doing that whole montage. Oh, also, yes, so. that's right. Yeah, <laughs> she, she gets hers. Good yeah. for her. She, she finds Get it, her, girl. Yeah, she's giving her <laughs> snack back away. <laughs> All right, worst character, Adrian Balboa. Mm. It's like Eric Gordon. Right? Yeah. Yeah, it's like you have to. He's such a fucking... I mean, I thought that was... Yeah, but I was it's like, obvious. I want to go with someone who's not that into the movie anyway, so I just went with the the original principal, the revolting blob, that guy. Oh, the, f- eh. the wrestler? The yeah, the re- yeah, I didn't like him that much, yeah. so... 
Well, I know you're probably not supposed to, but yeah. because he killed the guy. He killed the guy. <laughs> In Mexico or yeah. wherever it was. He, he's too horny? I'm still too horny. <laughs> 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 Which is fucking weird. Um, yeah, the Valentine's Day card. The, yep. What the fuck? <laughs> All right. Little BTS behind the scenes now. Uh, let's see. During the school bus scene, Chris Farley turning bright red in aggravation was improvised, according to M. Sandler. Um, b- Chris, before every scene, would chunk entire cups of espressos to maintain his trademark manic energy. I think he would do in pretty much every movie since. Is that is that what they just said he did? Or was he mm-hmm. doing something else, probably? It was it was probably <laughs> that on top of all okay. the other stuff that's going on. So There was no, um, ener- no energy drinks at the times, and so... So I think five hour energy was probably around back then at least. Yeah. Around that no fucking I don't think way Mon- it was I don't five think hour energy. No. no, Monster was five hour energy was in the two thousands. This is nine. You think so? Yeah. I okay. think we had five hour energy when I was in high school. Yeah. Well, let's uh you can get on the internet. We'll let's see what also. goddamn Google has to All say. Alright, so about this. um during the dodgeball scene, Brian, this is for you. Adam Sandler hit the kids with the dodgeball as hard as he possibly could. The editor had to cut away quickly after each hit so that he wouldn't show the <laughs> children the crying. <laughs> oh. <laughs> uh, you're gonna get paid today, but you're gonna get it. <laughs> it's gonna be worth it. <laughs> yes, sir. You're gonna uh, earn it today. That's right. Uh Bradley, hey, you want your SAG card, bitch? Here yeah. you go. Uh, Bradley Whitford never actually saw the film after, oh, no. after it was right, released. <laughs> yeah. But according to his brother, people would often shout, business ethics, uh, a reference to the scene where his character is challenged to discuss that as a subject. So uh, that's, not, that's not really He's never out. seen it? Yeah, he's never seen the movie after he's done it. He's like, I'm just going to film is, it. Does he, is, does he think he's above this for yeah. some fucking reason? <laughs> I, don't, I don't know. I mean, he's probably seen it now, I'm just, but at the time when the, I found this. So I don't know. Maybe. But, well, uh, well, what besides, I mean, like he... This and I remember him from Revenge of the Nerds too, Nerds in Paradise. Yeah, yeah. He plays another fucking dick. Yeah, yeah. He's, yeah. Like, he's yeah. Going See the head Alpha Beta. Yeah, one. Yeah, okay. yeah. Mm-hmm. Another one. That that was him. That was a prequel to this movie. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that's he, how he got this job. Yeah, when, yeah. He, when he said he was uh, at the Harvard, he ran track there. Yeah, 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 so yeah. That's obviously where they came from for that one. <laughs> yeah. Yep, I say. So, he's always he's always like a yeah fucking, he's always a fucking like, tool bag. Yeah, yeah. He's a douche, a fucking cunt. So. <laughs> <laughs> All right, moving on. If you smell what the Rock is cooking, can the Rock make this movie better? And where should we put him in the movie? I, no, he can't make the movie better. Oh and, yeah, he can. Oh yeah, you think so? <laughs> All right, I, I, I couldn't find it. I, I was thinking, I was like, I have no idea what to put. Oh, we we just so he also has to be out of shape, also. So we got to get Rock at uh, at rock bottom, not not the not. The <laughs> oh no, see, I don't no, care about no, that. No, no, no. Oh no, I want him to be fat and disgusting and be the principal. Well, the see, I principal. thought about Principal Anderson as well, like just to have, especially him giving the Valentine's card yeah. also, and just being as effeminate as little, possible little. while he's doing it. I was it. thinking that having him sit in front of the room. Obviously, the kid will have to make a different joke, but it's like it's such an honor to have Principal Rock in the room with us today. <laughs> yeah. I now thinking, I have to sit here and smell what he's fucking cooking all see, day. Yeah, <laughs> see, I, I was thinking that. I, was, I just, I just like have him wink over at him because, like, but I, the, I, they also he, pay off is at the end when he runs on the stage and the the fat principal gives him the elbow. We can give him the actual people's elbow. That's now he fucking runs on stage too. Okay, I get it. I could see that No, because he has to be. I, I feel like it has to be in shape, and probably make fun of his hair. I, his bald ass, <laughs> something like that. So that's going. I said be out of shape. He used to be so much better with hair or something like that. Um, <laughs> Uh, that would probably be it. Uh, My other choice was the penguin. The penguin, uh, him dressed up as a penguin. Like his, like you could see his face. Well, maybe, like, maybe it was like, him in the penguin suit. You can't yeah. prove it's not, can you? Like, you, like, the, <laughs> or like the, take the off the fins is... and just have the hands as human hands. <laughs> and then it'll be like his the rocks with arms. the fucking buff arms. Yeah, yeah and then you could tell because of his, <laughs> like the cut of his, uh, out because of his Samoan tattoo. You could see yeah. the cut out of his face, and instead he's just. Like, you can just see the Brahma bull on the right shoulder or whatever, whichever one it is. The Brahma's on the right and Samoan's on the left. So him just. I say. Or the old guy fucking sh- with the poop. Uh, <laughs> don't tell me what to do, woman. Uh, that'll be pretty good. I don't know. All right. Should there be a sequel franchise TV series in this? I No. 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 You, this, can't. you, you can't do anything further than this that's going on. As much as how stupid his life would be, they, that woman, Veronica, would be like, be like, I only married you because you're fucking rich and you, you want to <laughs> like, you can get all this money. So Yeah. You own over 500 hotels. So yeah. We'll- so I will. He give even him, if you he, don't take over the company, you're yeah. still gonna get yeah, money. Yeah, well, he doesn't. Rich. He he gives it over to Carl. He gives yeah. it to Carl, but Carl, you know, he's definitely getting he's getting money no matter what. He's his lifestyle is funded for like, yeah he, forever. So he's he never a, has to worry about a hundred millionaire at this point, not doing anything. He's got to worry about the penguin. Yeah, mm-hmm. that's all. And she, but after a while, she'd be like, "This is fucking stupid. Like, <laughs> I I can't deal with them." 
So, uh, well, he said he was going to become a teacher, right? Yeah, yeah but that's what he says, but that's not going to happen. The fuck is he going to teach? Maybe he can teach first gym grade teacher. also. Yeah, yeah, dodgeball has to be a gym teacher. He could definitely, <laughs> he could, he could definitely take Miss Lippy's job. <laughs> yeah, she's putting fucking paste on her face. <laughs> it's going to be a dodgeball. Yeah, uh, that's the only teacher he would have to be is a fucking gym teacher, and in the game would be dodgeball, and then probably like fucking volleyball. I think tetherball, tetherball. Well, he can, he can do basketball also. <laughs> yeah, that's you right. come in here with that shot, I'm blocking it every time. That's right. He does. Lo- <laughs> no, no, I'm sorry. Does you lo- leave me open nah. with that shot. I'm hitting it every time. And it's something that does 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 love playing pickup games. Excuse me. All right. So, if you were to be in the movie, where would you put yourself? I said I'm attending all the graduation parties, hands down. <laughs> I don't know how I'm getting invited. Well, I'm probably there also because I, I don't even know. think it matters. I, I think said everyone just shows up. Just shows up. I just said I'm hanging out with Frank and Jack all day. So, yeah. <laughs> so there you go. As much I'm, as I'm, I'm, the, I'm the third guy at the pool, just hammering every yeah, day. You're, what you're, day is today? Or, you October? know what? I just thought of another one. Twenty as, something. <laughs> <laughs> I just thought of another one to have Rock be the be the lead singer. Billy passed no, the third go, grade. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> all right, I'll take that. <laughs> 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 just uh, random. <laughs> um, uh, okay. Yeah, where would I be in there? Yeah, where would you put yourself, Brian? Either that or I'm the custodian just fucking pushing the mob. Push the mob I'd rather yeah, have geez. a beer. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I'd rather have some whiskey. Yeah. <laughs> it's like the hardcore stuff. <laughs> I'd rather get my moonshine. Nah, he was huffing glue in the parking lot. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. My luck, I'd probably be... You know, the one gets shot instead of Eric. <laughs> <laughs> You'd be in the assembly yeah. watching the decathlon. Go, yes, Steve Buscemi's got the rifle lined up and then his lipstick on his face just <laughs> yeah. a little bit and yeah. Brian gets hit by accident. Yeah. Yep. I got you. Okay. <laughs> Would you like to have a beer with one of the characters? Obviously, it's Billy and Frank. And the, the, I, don't, I don't even have... I just have Frank. Yeah. <laughs> well, I like to be with... The Billy, old... Billy's going to be too stupid. Like, Frank gets fucked up, but he's like a calm, relaxed drunk, it looks like, from yeah. what I see in the movie. Billy's a fucked up... You have to see what he's fucking doing. Like, some people we know drunk. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You know what? That's the one you may egg him on and go, go, go do that shit. <laughs> <laughs> you make him do this, the dumbest shit ever, because he's definitely fucking... E- like, he's e- easy to influence and say... There's no way you can jump off that roof. Well, Frank's the one who also asks the the deep uh, philosophical question. Philosophical <laughs> questions, also. You're sitting there having a beer, and you know who would you rather have sex with, Meg Ryan or Jack Nichols? <laughs> They're eating fucking burgers <laughs> at a burger joint. At, we know. didn't even talk about that. that's the scene where they also do the fucking pickle race. The pickle race. <laughs> All right. So if if Billy's off the table, I mean, you still can. I'm just saying. I'd rather just do just. I'm just saying just Billy's off the Frank. table. My top three are for this. Would be Miss Lippy because she's into some free. No, yeah, 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 exactly. <laughs> she's 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 three. Yeah. So Chris Farley I, probably. Chris Farley's one. Check you. It's called butt chugging. Yeah. <laughs> what Miss Lippy? What do you what Chris, do you mean butt chugging? Chris Farley's one. Then uh, Norm Macdonald's two. Then Miss Lippy. Yeah. I don't know if I want to have a beer with uh, Chris Farley in this movie. He gets angry. Yeah. Uh, Frank's relaxed, man. Yeah. He's chill. He's having a yeah, good time. Frank was the one. I said it's a billion Frank because I was two. Yeah, his, you saw, the, the other he friend was, wasn't he was there. happy when he gets happy. He was. <laughs> Not the mucus queen. We're not mm. throwing her in there. <laughs> her and Lippy together. There you go. Oh man, <laughs> Miss Lippy. This is I can see her laying on her back with her ass up, going with the, the fucking the uh, what is it? The funnel. This mm. is called a butt chug. Like, what the fuck, mm. Miss Lippy? You see, recess is a very special time, <laughs> not just for you, but for Miss Lippy. Go play outside. Yeah, <laughs> yeah we, we didn't mention the fact that she was dancing like yeah. a fucking yeah. like a, like a <laughs> Wiccan, <laughs> putting spells on all the kids. You know? <laughs> I hex you. It's the, uh, <laughs> when is this kid gonna stop doing his arm? <laughs> <laughs> fucking kid and his goddamn beans. Yeah. I see. All right, so moving on. Scotty likes beans. <laughs> Where can the ancient Boo Boo be in this movie? Every time Eric talks? Yeah. I I, I said more specifically, when the father says he's giving the company to Eric, it's like, Boo, why would you do that? Oh, I'm basically right there. It's it's just before that. It's actually a really funny joke, but I think it's a good place to put the Boo It's where they do the news report, and it's like a scandal as a millionaire son goes back to school and cheats on all his tests or whatever. Yeah. Uh-huh. And Billy's like, hold on, maybe it's somebody else. <laughs> <laughs> That's, and then the boomer just starts right there. <laughs> yeah. I, said, uh, I didn't have that in the quotes. I just had it written here. I was like, That's a great gag also. Hold on, maybe it's somebody else. Yeah, maybe it's somebody else. Okay. No, it's Frank yeah. that says that. I'm sorry. Not yeah, that. yeah. Wrong, yeah. <laughs> Somewhere on, well, <laughs> on one of those, so that's good. Um, yeah. Uh, so that, that's what we got for there. And one of our favorites. That's Shane's favorite. <laughs> so 
I have a feeling we all have to have the same answer for this, right? Like, there's not, there's not, there's only one place I can even think to put it, basically, so. I don't know. Well, I'll just say my name if you have something else. The only thing I could think of is the O'Doyle yep. car. That's All the right, only fuck thing. Yeah, exactly. Else, where else could it possibly <laughs> when go? When the O'Doyle's, uh, O'Doyle's really? the car. Yeah, yeah Brian, the, where are you going on this one? Like the beginning of the movie. Oh, with the golf cart? The golf cart, golf right, cart yeah, and yeah, yeah. Penguin. Yeah. Yeah, I didn't even think about that. No. No, it could be. It's probably really? Fun. It's probably it funnier be. because it lasts longer, at least. Yeah, O'Doyle really exactly. It's a five-second uh, Tokyo Drift, and it's over. No, I, I like the fact that it's like, oh, door of rules. Oh, da, da, da. And then it <laughs> no, just No, because I feel like it would all of a sudden be like, no, no, Mr. Madison, no penguin there. No, you tr- <laughs> you got too much sun. Dun, dun, dun. <laughs> all right. You know what? I, That's what I didn't I'm think seeing about, it. Yeah. I like it because I, I do enjoy that. I put that as one of my favorite scenes, <laughs> the opening scene with him chasing the penguins on a golf cart. So. Could you technically do it as a dodgeball scene when the kids are all getting hit? Like, ding, ding. <laughs> Listen, I can do some good video, video yeah. thing, but I'm not that good. So. <laughs> uh, okay. I, 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 now I'm, you're wrong. Big, with that one. Big, big trouble. trouble. No, I, I, definitely the O'Doyle. I, I felt like uh, Kevin Ashton on Facebook. Billy, you know what? what are you doing if I can hear? I'm out. Yes. <laughs> uh, no, no, no. I say. But uh, I, I could. All right. Uh, maybe I'll just. Oh. Maybe I'll, uh, we'll do it. Honestly, a I think two, I think two for. I think Brian's answer is better. <laughs> yeah, you think so? I, I'd have yeah, to match it. The Odoyle rules. The Odoyle rules is five seconds. Yeah, but he actually good. goes through and he like hits it. like the, he hits like the bushes and stuff like that. And you okay, know. all right, all right. I, I have to rewatch it and put it together and see it in my mind. I'm seeing it. I'm liking it. <laughs> I just like seeing the penguins in there. Go, <laughs> go. <laughs> so, all right. What the memory? penguins of the voices of the the Asian chicks? Yeah. <laughs> what memorable? Yeah, it's fine. Because <laughs> you know you th- you think they're fucking singing, but they're like, oh, "What out of you?" Oh, yeah, it's the penguins and shit. Okay, I get it. All right, all right. Maybe, maybe you're selling me on this. No. All right. So, what memorabilia would you like to take from the movie? Uh, no, right, the golf cart is up there. I'm yeah, you think so? Yeah. Yeah, it's pretty I nice. Mean, that golf I mean, I did just go with the penguin, but specifically the the penguin in the house with the the drink. With the drink on the the fucking drunk penguin. Okay, I got you, <coughs> Brian. You want the golf cart? You think the that's golf pretty cart? Good. The golf cart's up there. If you're talking about something that's like a serious thing to take, it would be Billy's. Like, I guess whatever. It's not a Mustang that he drives up to school, is it? I don't oh like yeah, one of the first I day of high school. Really, yeah. Yeah. <clears throat> whatever that convertible is. But I, 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 I don't care that much about cars, so I just went with nah. the penguin. <laughs> Um, I got gotcha. you. I'll take the tent, the tent, the fucking the tent in the back, like that. <laughs> the bathroom came with it, <laughs> yeah, the, <laughs> that, like the whole entire the setup tent. and everything that's going on. I got gotcha. you. It's a nice tent. Uh, yeah, mine was. I took the um. I like the outfit that he's wearing. Um, with the ripped white like like nice sweater with the shirt underneath and like uh. The, oh, the the Frank shirt. Yeah, is it? It's the Frank shirt, right? That's because yeah, he's got the white sweater on top. Yes. He says, actually, I stole this shirt from Frank. <laughs> yeah, yeah, <laughs> that's the one <laughs> from the beginning, like when they're sitting down for yeah, 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 yeah. He's never dinner and stuff like that. The entire he could wear something nice, and he's just <laughs> it's all fucking ripped. And I was like, I want, I want that, especially with the hat, the the shirt, the the, sh- the sweater, ripped sweater, the, the shorts, and the boots, <laughs> an entire outfit just fucking plastered on my wall right over here somewhere. That's it. <laughs> I mean, you could have that, or you could have a penguin flapping its arm with a drink in its hand right in that corner. <laughs> but you listen, it's not like it's the regular size penguin. This penguin's like six feet. <clears throat> yeah, it's a big penguin. I don't know it's how to tell you. Yeah, I don't know how to tell you. It's, it's not real, so you don't have to like clean up after it or anything. Yeah. But I want other people to see it, though. <laughs> so I, uh, other people seeing the not real penguin that's well, six feet. Well, have them fucking start just... drink what you have in your fridge, and they'll start seeing stuff. <laughs> <you know? laughs> Can I have Juanita as my maid? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. I thought I was your snack bag. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, okay, I got you. All right, so final thoughts on this movie. What, 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 do, we, what do we think, boys? Final thoughts on uh, Billy Madison. Brian, what you got for me? Um, like I said from before, this is one of the, uh, you know, a top five movie from Sandler. Um, you know, the more you watch it, the more you talk about it, you know, with your friends and stuff like that, it just, you know, it, you just reminisce and stuff like that. And it's it's still, for me, I feel like it still kind of holds up because it brings me back to, like, when I was, you know, fucking first watching this movie so you know it's still got a lot of dumb jokes in there and it's still funny so um sandler has been a part of like my whole life you know with his comedy from saturday live his you know getting his cds 
um, yes. and then all his movies. So you know, I've supported this guy for fucking they, <laughs> you know thirty years now. So are they working out or are they having? Th- <laughs> the, and the goat. Uh, yeah, uh, the goat I'm, is classic. I'm, I'm one of the yeah. best, one of his favorites gets on. Yeah. Um. So yeah, There's, I mean, it's it's this is a good movie, and you know, it's just I like how something some things never change. Like for him, like he always, even to this day, has his friends. In his movies, no matter what, and always takes care of them. So that's really cool, you yeah. know. Yeah, yeah. I, I agree. I like that. That's a good aspect of him. Oh, and you know, know, that's a that's a, that's all I got. I got you. Kev, your thoughts on this? You want you want? Uh, earliest energy drink I can see in the United States is Red Bull in 1994. Just want to point that out. Okay, so I was wrong. I was wrong about five hour energy. But I knew there was wow, something that was available. Ninety four for Red Bull. Red Bull. Yeah. It's been that long. Almost. 20 I mean, years? they probably first had in high school those uh, fucking Red no. Bull gives you wing commercials. Thirty so. years. Yeah. It says introduced 1994 uh, in the United States. 30, so. 30 years going on Red Bull? Yeah. Fucking A. Anyway, um, like I said, even as we're sitting here like talking about this, like it's obvious that this movie is incredibly fucking stupid, but it's funny as it's incredibly stupid because we're sitting there having a good time laughing about it and thinking That's about how dumb everything That's is true. here also. Yeah. So. Like I said, I feel like it's, it's kind of like... I don't know. It's like right before... This is 90... What do we say? 96 is when this is? Or is it 94? I don't remember. Now they just fucking said the thing about Red Bull. I'm 95. Confused. It's 95. Oh, all right, we're right in the middle, whatever. Uh, it's like right before we start getting uh, the, I think it, we get kind of like the more gross out off the wall comedy probably. Dumb and Dumber is probably 96 then. No, Dumb and Dumber is 94. Is it before this? Yeah. Yes. Huh. Yeah. Fell off the tarmac again. So we have that. <laughs> well, I mean, I don't think Dumb and Dumber as, as off the wall as Kingpin, which we've done, and then something about Mary also. So Yeah. But, but anyway, the whole thing is, I think this is like just kind of like a stupid, funny comedy, but I don't think we get like the more like kind of gross out and over the top comedies. Like American Pie, I think, is one of the big ones also. That's 98, 99, right? 99. Yeah. yeah so. That was like the end of there. Yeah. So I think it like it kind of like falls off because it doesn't get into like that range of like the comedies that we're more used to. But it's, I mean, most of Adam Sandler's comedies are basically pretty uh, family friendly. Not family friendly, but they're not as over the top disgusting where you can't have kids watch it basically Correct. you said this is PG-13 you said it also it says PG-13 right? so, yeah. I was like wow really okay so like I said because of that it's kind of weird to like compare it to comedies that like even we just did The Hangover recently also which is a lot more off the wall also so. <laughs> oh, oh, yeah. but it's still good it's, it, this is like a, a dumb funny as opposed to like a, a more off the wall kind of funny so but it's still good like I said I think like a mid eight is fair for it and uh like I said, I think it's a top three, probably, Adam Sandler comedy. I still think, I'm still thinking about it. I think Happy Gilmore is probably my favorite, so I don't know. Yeah, I have to agree, because it, you don't get that much of annoying, like, his voice in there. If this would have been, like, an R-rated comedy... I think the sports plot of Happy me. Gilmore helps drive it more than just mm-hmm. the yes. random just going back to school of yeah. this also. Another original plot, which was very interesting, because who, who takes golf and hockey and makes <laughs> it into a fucking movie? You go there in order to save, like, a house, something like that. Mm-hmm. Um... Yeah, I'll give him credit. The fucking original you will go ideas. To sleep, or yeah. I will put you to sleep. <laughs> Those are very original ideas uh, on movies that's going on. It's like who would have came up with something that? Like yeah. That? So I think genius right there on those. I, I enjoy as much. I agree with you, Kev, on this. Uh, stupid, but yeah, as we're talking about having laughing, having a good time like that. This is definitely a movie I feel as opposed to watching by yourself. It's funnier to watch with people, with your bros. <laughs> and um, <laughs> uh, just put it on the background, have it out there, and have a couple of beers, just let, just you know, some boozing and reeling going on. That's that's it. Like this is one of those you definitely with company. It's more fun. Um, I, I, that's it for me. Like I like it. Not one of my favorites of uh, of Adam Sandler, but uh, again, it's a top five with him. Brian said earlier before. I, I agree with you on that top five. Probably mine would probably definitely would be. Let's go right now. Top five. Or yeah. I uh, would say the Happy Gilmore, um, the Longest Yard. I fucking love that movie. Um, I would probably put what are the other ones he's done in there? I actually like Transylvania. <laughs> it's, I never, I've never, I've watched. I watched any of them. I think oh, I've you seen, have the kids too. I yeah, think I've seen the that. first. So one. I, I've seen. I've seen all of them. They're pretty good. I think uh, Transylvania, uh, Big Daddy, and then probably this one. I, I'd probably say that. So yeah, like I said, I, I'll have this. I'll have Happy Gilmore. The Longest Yard. Um, I love The Wedding Singer is fantastic. So that's, that's true. The that's singer, yeah. that's that's my number one. And then I don't I, know, man. There's I, I do love Wedding Singer. Oh, I, there's I there's some, down, actually, he's got some other we, good ones. Are we, are we guys this down on the Water Boy? 
No, <laughs> it's not that. I'm, I do like the one. I kind of like that better than Longest Yard, I think. Longest Yard's great, too. I but fuck, I think. I fucking love the. Like, I was like <laughs> no. in tears in that movie. Because then there's other ones like, I love Click because it, it, it also becomes real and sad at the time, too. And you're just like, oh, wow. It's a little bit different than he's because it's got funny shit in yes, there. Yes, it's comedy. That it, actually, it's you know, yeah, you get like that. Yeah, no, and, and he's that's got the way. emotional baggage at the end. I think that he, that's a good like instead of him trying to be serious because of uncut gems was like it was okay. Um, was not impressed with it though. Oh, I, I liked uncut gems. I, I liked it a lot, but <coughs> I'm not saying it was like I, honestly. I think when he was trying to push stuff, oh, I'm a great actor and stuff. I can do all this stuff. I don't like, think he Cameron was trying Ward. to do that. He just took the. No, he said he said if I don't win an Academy Award. Yeah, it was, I mean, he, I'm not going to say he was, I don't even remember who he was up against that year. He got nominated, I remember, right? Did he really? I, think, no, I don't think he got nominated for the Oscars. Oscars. I don't remember. Maybe for Maybe the Golden, Golden Globes. Globes, yeah. But anyway, it, it was, he, he was very good in it. It was a good actual, like, it acting dramatic good. performance, I, but I, not, I not that great. Yeah, not, that's not a award award. I did enjoy it. So anyway, let's close this podcast. <laughs> 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 All right, so that's it for this episode. Thank you for tuning in. Thank you for joining us. Uh, anything else and listening on your uh, favorite platform if you want to check us out reelsboozebros.com all of our social medias and definitely the uh, the YouTube with the, with the videos that's it cheers <laughs> <laughs>